everyone. I'm here in Patiala for another episode of the Good Wife Show. Today I have two people who are very dear to me right from my childhood and very dear friends of my parents, Dr. G. B. Singh and Mrs. Dr. Ravinder G. B. Singh. And both are professors from Punjabi University. They live in Patiala in their home. We are going to ask them about their journey. So, Uncle, how did it all start? First, how did you meet Auntie? And then we come back to the rest of it. It's a long, hard story. Then anyway, when I came back from Edinburgh after doing my PhD, I joined this university in October 1975. And then, you know, work at the university is only five days, and two days are off. Saturday and Sunday, I used to meet people, try to find some part of myself. But in the meantime, I came across our father, who was my teacher in Madhyana. He met me in the bazaar, and then later on, somebody suggested he came to visit me. We talked. Then he arranged a meeting of both of us in the coffee house in the Punjabi University of Patiala, along with some two or three senior professors whom I adore. Then we met, discussed briefly. Anyway, I was under the influence of her dad. But I immediately decided to go in for yeah. Because of the influence of the back and forth. It's all I see. And after that, it was a very brief ceremony, and then immediately we got married. I'm going to interrupt you and ask you, ma'am, mm -hmm. is this version absolutely accurate? Want to add something? <laughs> <laughs> well, of course. Uh, he, uh, when we met in the coffee house, I was a bit shy. Obviously. And I told him that I have my class and I'm going. I didn't stay there. Uh, then he, both of them, my father and they, he, uh, they decided that we should meet somewhere else. Okay. Uh, because they were senior professors. That's why I was trying. So we met at our place. Then he talked to me again, a brief talk. And uh, he told about his family and he knew about my family and then uh, my father i told my father that it's okay so he arranged another meeting for us uh, we went to the market for getting the things uh, shopping mm, then again uh, we had some refreshment and i want to tell him tell you which that did you have? <laughs> coffee or uh, uh, tea. Okay. Uh, we sat somewhere and there was a picture on the wall. Mm -hmm. I asked him, do you drink? Mm -hmm. He said, I'm not addicted to it. Sure. So my, I told my father, when I went home, I told my father that you always said that I need a good sick man. And now he does take, so I will not. Yeah. I will not get married. Mm -hmm. He said, no, no, uh, I have given my words and you, I must stick to those words. So it was done. <laughs> <laughs> we, we come back to your geography. Tell us about the early days. How did you come to geography and how was the journey in geography? Actually, my professor in the University of Edinburgh wrote to the Vice Chancellor of Punjabi University of Patiala that we have a bright boy who can teach in your university. If you have any position, let me know. The vice chancellor replied to that query, and she said, whenever he is in India, he should meet me. I came and met her, she was a lady, and then the interview was fixed. Of course, the teachers who interviewed me, they were my teachers. They knew me well. One was the vice chancellor of Delhi University, the other was a very senior professor of Punjab University. I had a good sitting with them, yeah. and then they decided, okay. And uh, then 
the person in, that was the vice chancellor from Delhi University, he said that he had long career in the right there and he gets me from abroad. He gave him maximum grade. They gave me eight uh, increments along with the grade. Eight increments, that's a lot. Yeah, eight increments. I was put into the regents grade, though okay. I was a lecturer. Then the vice also said, okay, we don't have any position of a leader. I, I promise that within a year, we will promote you as a leader. So I joined this university, and after one year, vice chancellor left the university, and some other chair came. Mm -hmm. It took another year for me to get my leadership. Then I was leader head. Then became professor and during my career as a teacher in a government college and in the university i have something to tell you that i have written for all classes starting from fourth standard up to the postgraduate level you have written books for them yeah yeah and you have written and authored books on punjab also i i read i wrote a book on Transformation of Agriculture in Punjab. Yes. That was my book on the basis of which I was promoted as a leader. Then, when I became professor, I started working on Agriculture Planning Act for yeah. Punjab, yes. which I completed. Yes. Uh, only 16 pages were printed when I became professor. I see. I told my wife, so that you could have made wait for another <laughs> month or so, so that my address is complete. He said, if I can't make you professor with 16 printed pages, I can't make you professor, even if it is complete. Yeah. So it was the Ghani was decision. There was no competition. I became professor. That at least still lying. Yeah, yeah, we'll show it in a moment. We'll show it here in the end of the episode. Uh, Ma'am, uh, before I come to your Sanskrit journey, uh, talk about the children. You have three wonderful children, and uh, how did the personal journey continue? You were already in a, your own home in Patiala. Or what, what were the early days of marriage like? No, we were small. Yes, we were there here at Pasi Road in a rented house. Uh, there, um, I had my twins, <laughs> uh, Brahmraj first. And actually, I before their birth, I thought of naming, uh, giving uh, two names uh, to my son because I knew that they were there's a twin. So I thought of giving um, uh, what were the names? Bright and delight. <laughs> Bright and delight. Then uh, he said, "No, no, you give some Sanskrit names." Okay. Then I found the synonym of bright, ruchi. Right. That was Ruchir actually. Right. I kept Ruchi, Ruchir for him, for the boy. And uh, for her, I kept uh, Delight. Right. I Shuchi. named her Delight. Shuchi. Shuchi, Shuchi. Shuchi. Shuchi means uh, pious and uh, yeah. Yeah. Delight also. Vedic meaning is there. Okay. So, but again, when my mother-in-law, uh, she thought these names I can't pronounce, it's very difficult for me to pronounce their names. She said, okay, I'll call them Raja and Rani. <laughs> uh, so she started uh, these names, and now they are popular with these names. Absolutely. But the, and that Sanskrit journey is linked to these names because your of knowledge course. of Sanskrit came. Yeah, yeah. So how did that start? I mean, being in Punjab, being in Patiala, why Sanskrit? And how did it uh, evolve? This was also my father's wish. Mm -hmm. He knew a scholar who was a renowned scholar of Sanskrit and Persian. So there was one teacher who taught him. And my father said, okay, now you are going to the college, you must have Sanskrit. Because if you want to know Gurbani, then you must know Sanskrit. Right. So he uh, engaged, that, arranged that teacher for me at home. And uh, I studied Sanskrit, I started Sanskrit, and uh, this is how my journey started. Then I was so 
impressed with the subject that I thought of doing my MA also. I did honors and then I did MA, then I did PhD. So all in Sanskrit only. I mean, gold, I mean she's a gold medalist in MA. Yeah, she's humble. Gold medalist as, as well. This brings in my parents, just to bring in, before I come to him, my mother also was a Sanskrit scholar. Yeah. And uh, they, we, I also have twin sisters, so they had twins. So that friendship uh, and how that uh, closeness came about, yeah, from your perspective, before I come to the original perspective. There's also an anecdote which, which is related to him. When the doctor asked, okay, do you have any twins in your family? He said, my friend has. <laughs> <laughs> so, then again, uh, the names. Uh, she had named her daughters, twin daughters, Suruchi and Surabhi. Yeah. And I knew that she had given these names. But still, I had, uh, it was only my planning that I will name them Ruchir and Shuchi. Uh -huh. uh, after that, she did MA, I think. She did MA. She did MA, MA Sanskrit <laughs> later on. Yes. She was a student of uh, Punjab University. <laughs> and uh, Dr. Um, Anirudh Joshi. No, not Dr. Some... Anirudh Joshi. There was another who was in Haldwani. Okay, I don't know. Another, uh, I've forgotten his name. So she st started doing PhD under him. So um, that was another association with her. Yeah. And then wh whenever I used to visit your place, uh, she we talked about these people. <laughs> and then we talked about Sanskrit. And uh, and these people mean him and uh, Mr. Atre. <laughs> Let us talk about the original origins of your friendship with uh, Mr. Jayaprakash Chatre, and then Ramaji came. It was an incident. I was transferred from Kurukshetra to Rotek, government college for women. As a very young boy, I guess. Yes, very young. And uh, in those days, uh, Diana was very famous with the white jeep and uh, red maroon type of chair. Shirt. Okay. That was our basic format. And I was very young. So I went, white the principal was Miss Das Gupta, yeah. a very intelligent lady and very nice lady. So I met. Your father, Mr. J.P. there. He was a ad hoc teacher in physics. So I was a regular teacher in geography. So we met each other. And then within a few days, we became a bit closer. And then we started living together. We hired a house and we had a separate room for each one of us. And from there on, we came more closer and ultimately we ended up with very, very close friendship. Very close friendship. I would say it was just like a brother to me. Then after a year, we had to select new teachers. I told the principal that I'm going to stay in this college if you keep him also as a dog teacher. He was a physics uh, teacher. He became again teacher. Then we used to traveled on the roadside and there was a house and the, the nameplate was such and such SSP Rotec. Mr. Atre, in his own jovial mood, said, maybe my plate should be there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> From here, his journey for IPS started. I said, you work hard. Work even during late hours in the night, we used to discuss so many issues, especially the knowledge people. I used to help him, yeah. Oh, it's very difficult on the list. Mr. Mr. DB said, A man from physics will never become IPS. <laughs> <laughs> so, here, I have full confidence in him. 
I will show you that he what. And he came at the age of 20 something. Yeah. Very young, 20. So he, he appeared and the day his paper on general knowledge was here. He came back from Delhi and started laughing and hugging. He <laughs> said, what happened? He said, whatever you told me last night, it all yeah. was there in the field. <laughs> so he talked the IPS of his institution. And another small incident, he was at Mau under training. He wrote me a letter that my parents have found some girl in Delhi. And would you go along with them and see the girl? And if you decide, it's okay. So we'll go in for it. Okay. He didn't go, you had to go. Mm -hmm. I did. <laughs> That was also a time. <laughs> you are getting married, not me. <laughs> so you must come for a day or two so that we can decide. Right. So then he came. Mm. Yeah, we decided. Came from Missouri or wherever. Yes. So then he was in Missouri. Yeah. From then they got the married. Friendship went on so deep, so strong. We have seen you from our childhood and yeah. growing up and uh, even during the crisis times. Both mm -hmm. uh, when ma'am was not mm -hmm. well, then when my father was not well, then during the wedding, during other things. Uh, we have grown up together with uh, Raja Rani, yes. younger, but uh, that's how it all went. But the journey has been fulfilling, satisfying. How do you look back at these friendships, these relationships? How has it been? Well, it was, uh, I wouldn't say it was not simply friendship. It was much more than that. I was senior in age, of course, and he always, whatever I said, he agreed. <laughs> he never rejected or objected to any of my doing. Then I was to go abroad. I had a problem with my permit chain, permit. Yeah. I consulted people and I thought of it that it will be okay because my case was very perfect and I should have got the permit, but I did get the permit. It was ejected on a flimsy, flimsy ground. Those days they were very strict with foreign exchange. Very foreign exchange. It was mm -hmm. hardly available to people. Mm -hmm. There was a lot, lot of uh, hanky panky going on. I was very sad. So what I decided, I said, that, let me go to Delhi, me. Yes. So I traveled to Delhi, stayed with your parents in the South Extension. And in the evening, he came from office. We had a cup of tea, and then, of course, we were talking. And I told him, This is my problem. I need your help. So he said, Because we were so close, he said, I can't do anything in this. <laughs> How can I do anything like this? I was a bit disappointed. Disappointed. Started thinking and thinking and thinking. The whole night I could not sleep. In the morning we had <laughs> one cup of tea and we had tea together. I said, I would like to go to your office along with you. you know, what will you do there? Mm. And then you don't ask me questions. Just Come with me. He said, okay. He went there. Yes. On the way, I told him that I want to meet some officer, a senior officer, not less than the rank of DSP, who is senior in age and senior and experience. He said, what did he do? He said, you don't ask me questions. So he went to his office, he called somebody. He was Mr. Sharma, very tall man. So, Mr. Afre told him that you take him along, and whatever he says, you do it, and you can. So, I sat with him in the team, and we went to the bank of India. On the way, I instructed him that, Mr. Sharma, you have to go, and we are going to meet the concerned official. The only thing you have to say is that he was an IB at that time. Yeah. I'm from my B, Mr. Sharma, <laughs> and he's my boss friend. Yeah. He has a very fit case for 
getting foreign exchange permit, but you people have rejected without any reason. We shattered, we shattered, and even here we for, for two years, and he said, sir, sit down, please sit down. He offered a cup of coffee to us, and he looked into the fire, and he said, sir, you give me your residential address and telephone number. I see. So he the residential address of your parents. I'll come in the evening after five o'clock, before six. And I'll tell you the whole story. So at 5.15, he came to your residence over there. And he said, here is a foreign exchange permit for you. And here's my telephone number. He wrote the things with you. <laughs> you have any problem, you please let me know. I am happy from this side. You knew how to get the work done. <laughs> and. Uh... But Mr. J.P. Atri was very straightforward. No, he didn't, but you got it done. Not really bad. It was God's gift. Yeah, always. I said, because I was, I had to go. I was to go. So therefore, all the arrangements were made. And we were very happy. We went to Kral place to have dinner. <laughs> then we enjoyed it that evening. Yeah. And then, when I was to go, I packed up and went to Delhi again. I had to stay with the your parents. Yeah, I remember those uh, ah, early yeah. days when we were very small. Even in London, you would come. I was not born. Okay. No, no, you were. <laughs> yes, you were there. Well, I called the bell, and the servant said, "Please sit." I was waiting in the drawing room. Your father came along with one child, carrying. Oh, he said, oh, maybe we are uh, miracle. Huh? Oh, yes. He said, yes. So he met me and he went back. Then Rama came. <laughs> I thought she was the same. <laughs> and after five minutes, Mr. Atre also came with the kids. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm so happy to tell you that both the girls are well settled in life, and one of them is very close to me. Yes, 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 yes absolutely. And uh, Andy, I want to ask you the journey of being a homemaker, looking after the kids, and being a successful educationist professor how did you balance it was it difficult was it easy did you certain times curtail your professional success for the family actually he was very pushing he had been he was very pushing okay. he was very pushing whenever i used to do something else apart from my studies or my writing the papers or books or something like that he always said you have not to do any other work. You must do all this, which is beneficial to you. Uh, so, I, of course, I had a tough time. I had twins and then the whole family to look after. Uh, even in those days, all the guests used to come for night staying only. They never used to, uh, for two, three, four days. And it was announced going stage. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but still we managed. I had been having domestic helps and everything, but I never uh, shirked from my professional this thing. What has been your mantra, your philosophy? How did you emerge so successful and so cheerful? I think if you have strong determination of doing something, then you, of course, do some, do that. Yeah, that's true. You are successful. What has been your philosophy and how do you feel uh, life has evolved and what was your uh, secret? I think when I, I was quite mature when I got married, and life was quite uh, very busy to do. I was very busy with my department because I was doing a lot of work extra from my teaching and research. So I think it went very well. After two years, I decided that I should build a, my own house. And this was again uh, one of my professors 
He always insisted, you must build your own house, you must build your own house. So I bought this cloth and constructed this house. At the same time, when your parents' house was being constructed in Urugu. Yes. So, so many things happened together, together. in the life of both of us. Yeah, absolutely. And the journey continues together. Continue. So many things, can, despite yes. the absence of... And then that. she got sick, so yeah. sick that there was no home. Mm -hmm. So I went to PGI and her dad said, you have been given very VVIP treatment here. Nobody would care there. You better think. Mm -hmm. I said, no. If she's to die, let her die at a better place. I went there. Friends helped so much. Of course, your family was at the beck and call. And uh, the university professor in the job university. And Mr. Bhavan was employment director, employment exchange of Ariana. He was there. There were so many other friends. They helped me a lot. Everything went on smooth. It was friends, that bonding, that friendship always, that family. And then, you know, your own goodwill. Goodwill being the earning of life, that really helps. That's a reciprocal, yeah. largely. But then I had the strong feeling that the relationship which I had with your parents, nobody else could match. <laughs> so much so, your mother was looking after her. In the hospital, one daily doctor, very smart and bright lady, she came and he said, Who's with the, this patient? Mm -hmm. She said, I'm here. What relationship do you have to a friend's wife? This is no relationship. <laughs> she, started, she was very strict. She started crying. When I came, I said, What happened? She said, She is. And then I quote the lady, I said, you know who she is? Mm. You must not behave like this. I <laughs> snapped her. <laughs> and uh, one dialogue of your mother, I will never forget. <laughs> when she came on the first day to look after her, she said, Bhai sahab, I to not know if you are going to be able to do this. I didn't know that you are going to be able to do this. Was very touching. Very touching. No, I looked after her so well. One day she says, "But which I get? Which man I get mad? Eh? Because I gold got paid. Eh? How does the duty look like? The duty driver, the car is. Ah, the heavy one. So I said, 'I'm going to buy some new clothes. I'm going to buy some new clothes. I'm going to buy some new clothes. I'm going to buy some new clothes.'" In the day she was discharged from the hospital, the Shatreva had his fever. So I telephoned him, I said, we are going. He said, no. you hold on, I'm coming. So he came, he said, you can go. She won't go. She'll stay with us. We'll look after her and get her examined every week. So she stayed there when all of you were there. Yeah, physio, for my physiotherapy, I had uh, been there. I had been staying with you uh, for 15 to 20 days. I stayed there and I got it done. I'll ask both of you one last question, which is about the future, the hope for Punjab. You've been in Patiala, the youth. What do you look forward to for the country and the youth of India? I know there are both sides of the coin. Yeah. But uh, what are your positives? Yes. It's a very difficult question to answer. Because when you when you go and study abroad, you study the parameters of that society, including education, including other social systems of that country. But I had something in mind that I would like to do something special. But when you come at knowledge, information, and any future hope, I I thought that the people are not worth this thing because 
mean that his system is rotten education system is so bad that you cannot improve upon it. So the, they are talented and energetic, but the system bogs them down. It doesn't allow them to flourish. The system makes it done rather than sharp for their We intellect. have the atlas of uh, Punjab, which you created, the agriculture planning atlas. So we have Ramraj, please get it for us uh, on the screen and we kind of display it here. Ramraj is here with us. You can just sit a little closer. The work of Monumental significance for Punjab, the Agricultural Planning Atlas, which Dr. G.B. Singh had worked on. Both are such eminent scholars and such wonderful human beings. And Brahmraj, uh, one last word from you. Anything you'd like to add to what we've discussed? Oh. Yeah, I've just been put on a spot. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking, we're talking about good vibes. I'm sitting on the corner, probably oozing good vibes to them yes and you <laughs> so now i'm participating in good vibes so probably uh that's what that's what i would say it was nice you know i learned about my parents a little bit yeah. more than i did before <laughs> we 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 continue this journey together thank you thank you thank you very much Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bless. 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 Bless.